This is video number two in the series on species and solution. In this video, I'm going to explain ethanol and the species present when you have ethanol in a solution. So one of the things that um, I'll point out is ethanol is what we consider a non-electrolyte. Uh, that basically means that it does not produce ions. Uh, they Molecular compounds do not dissociate, so that's why they do not produce ions. How you know you've got a molecular compound is that they are all covalently bonded. Uh, they'll be made up of non-metals. So one example is ethanol. There are lots of other examples, such as um, sucrose and glucose, uh, methane, or your organic compound, well, alkanes, alkenes, uh, yeah, alcohols, those are all molecular compounds made up of non-metal elements. So what I would do to begin is show that when you have ethanol in water, yes it is soluble, and that goes back to your organic chemistry with hydrogen bonding, but what we're focusing on here is the fact that there's no dissociation your ethanol molecules do not break up into ions. So all the ethanol remain as ethanol molecules. When we go further to do the graphical representation, you need to be aware that this is a neutral compound. The ethanol does not react or hydrolyze with water, and for that reason, the concentration of your hydroniums is going to be equal to the concentration of the hydroxides. Now, they, their concentrations will also be very small. It goes back to video one where I explained that the water does self-ionize, but the concentration of your hydroniums is low, 1 times 10 to the minus 7, and that's the same concentration for your hydroxide ions. In an exam question, they might ask you to write all the species present in order of their highest concentration to lowest concentration. And this is what it would look like. The species most common would be your water. Remember that is 55.6 moles in each litre. Because this does not dissociate, it remains intact. That will be the next highest concentration. From there, you typically write the hydroniums on the left and the hydroxides on the right. Their concentrations are very, very small. They'll be much smaller than the ethanol, but they are equal, and hence that sign there. So you've only got the four species present, water and the ions associated with the self-ionization of water. So those three are always present in every um, aqueous solution. In this instance, you'll also have the ethanol on its own. Now, they also sometimes ask you to draw a graphical representation instead of putting them in order like this. This is what a graphical representation looks like. So you've got your axes. You put your water on the left-hand side. It's custom practice. We put a bar up, they will have told you it's a 0.1 mole per litre solution. And then we put these two bars, and they typically always go on the right hand side. The important thing that we're looking for as a marker is that your height of your hydroniums is equal to the height of your hydroxides, as that indicates that it's a neutral solution. So I'm going to stop the video here and go on to video three for the strong acid 